Hi everyone, I'm Harry Cullinane, uh, part of the sales team here at LE Publishing and today I'm going to talk you through the LE Digital Hub. What is the LE Digital Hub? Well, uh, very, very self-explanatory, it's our digital environment, okay? So anything and everything to do with digital, you will find on the LE Digital Hub, okay? So let's take a look at what we're going to do today. Uh, this is our agenda, how you would log in, create accounts, digital books, activating them, interactive resources. We will take a look at our classroom, our test room, our app, uh, assigning books to teachers, a whole load of stuff. Again, everything in the context of digital resources. So we have a number of slides here. I'm just going to voice over them. Hopefully, you know, they'll be quite self-explanatory and where, 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 where I need to, I'll step in and give a little bit further explanation. Okay. So how to log in? Uh, well, there you go. Uh, you, you click <laughs> any of these links. We've got a dedicated website. It's avail available in different languages. Or you can go to eleonline.com and find your way through the, the to the hub through the link here where it says digital book. Okay. Uh, to register, there are different accounts available. Okay. I mean, obviously, to access any of these resources, you need to be registered on the website either as a student or as a teacher, but also as a parent. So there's three possibilities. Okay. Uh, three types of accounts available. Uh, if you already have an account with elionline.com, you can use the same profile, i.e. login and email and username that you used on elionline.com. You can use those credentials to access uh, LE Digital Hub. Okay. Uh, just to give you a look at it, this is the version in Italian. We're doing English today, okay, but it's also in Spanish, just so you know. This is what the home page looks like. And you can see in the top right hand corner where I mentioned logging in or registered, that's basically where you would complete that process or your teachers would complete that process. Okay. So, uh, I mentioned it's also in the Spanish language. Okay. Uh, once you're in, this is what it looks like. Okay. You have got, um, Ali Digital Books. We've got the, the virtual classroom tab, our test room, our online shop and Ellie link, which is our app. Okay. And there is a video tutorial, which is very, um, uh, very complete and gives everything that you would need or teachers would need to, to move their way around in this, uh, environment here. Okay. So this is what the login page looks like. Very clear, nothing difficult. You can see if you're a student, use this icon. If you're a parent, use this. If you're a teacher, click on the third icon and put in your credentials. Remember, I said, if you've already got an alienonline.com account, you can use the same credentials to access Ali Digital Hub. Okay. There is a video tutorial available on how to do this. Um, it's a YouTube, uh, it's a YouTube video clip. And like I said, probably people won't need this because it's very straightforward and easy to do. Okay. So the student account and the teacher account. First thing to say is that the student account, uh, once they're registered as a student, okay, they will not have answer to, uh, they will not have access to the answer keys. How does a student register? Well, they will find a printed code inside their student book or their workbook, okay? Um, once they're registered, once the student has created an account, uh, at that point, they can be invited by their teacher to participate in a virtual classroom, okay? It's so like a digital classroom. And at that point, the teacher will also be able to send that student uh, test and assignment notifications, okay? Uh, on the other hand, a teacher account, once registered as a teacher, uh, and the teacher will find what they need to register as a teacher in their guide and their teacher book, okay? Uh, they will have access to answer keys, uh, to resources, digital resources, and they will be able to create and manage virtual classrooms, okay? So they can get their own students involved, um, invite them, hook them up to a class, different groups, different classes, assign exercises. They'll have all sorts of tests and reports and um, all sorts of stuff that you would expect a teacher to have access to, okay, in a digital environment, okay? How to activate a digital book? Once the account has been created and logged into Digital Hub, users can proceed with the activation of the digital book. It's very simple, and maybe I'm repeating myself, but just to make it clear, okay? So there's a code 
in the student book for the student and there's a code in the guide the teacher's book for the teacher okay this is what it looks like okay early digital book very clear activated book download early digital book and you can contact or the teacher can contact for support okay so it's very simple again very simple and very straightforward and it tells you precisely what you get with an early digital book videos images audio materials exercises all sorts of stuff okay um, activate your digital book uh, again you know this is for the teacher they put in their their code here which they find in their guide or they can get direct from the distributor they put it in and that activates them once they've done that they will get on start getting onto their bookshelf okay uh, it's worth pointing out there you know the there are expiration dates and you can see them here 14 months for a course and 18 months for an elite reader okay okay so the digital book what does it look like well uh, the users can find all the, the activated digital books in their library so once you create an account you will have like a library or a bookshelf let's call it that and you will see immediately what books you have already activated in that bookshelf okay so let's say in the top right hand corner my name is Francesco um, Francesco has got a total of seven books activated okay so you can immediately see your your bookshelf your library and you can see what books you've got inside that library so if you're let's say a teacher you've got different courses uh, different books immediately you can see what books you have access to on the platform okay this is what a book looks like on the platform okay the early digital book and the audio video all of that material is embedded you just click on the various icons to access the material okay uh, you will have interactive activities inside the book uh, so it's a complete package okay a complete package complete digital book yeah uh, what about the tools okay we can see these three icons here these are at the bottom of the page if I just slip back to the previous slide whoops sorry uh, the previous slide being this one you can see at the bottom in the center there's those three icons there's a plus sign in the middle and to right there it looks like um, uh, it looks like um, a filing cabinet okay what do these consist of well there are the drawing tools and there are the resources okay so that's basically the resources panel okay everything that comes with the course it's embedded you can click on the icons or you can go to the filing cabinet and pull out the resources individually okay this is what they look like okay exercises the audio video in this case karaoke depending on the course that you have activated there will be different types of resources okay um, the tools that teachers have access to um, one of the great things I really 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 strongly suggest that you talk to your teachers about this is that they can add personal files in the digital book so if I've got favorite images links to websites um, websites that are external I can link them into my lesson and it brings you know it really does uh, allow you to integrate and bring the lesson to life the fact that you can add in your own audio video images PowerPoint stuff how do you do that well basically as we see here okay so this is my PC these are my resources I want to bring in pictures I just drag them into the page here let them drop and they're on the student book page fantastic really really powerful okay um, the interactive contents I mentioned this the icons okay you can see here an audio icon you can see a, a video icon click and go okay just click and go very useful uh, these are some of the types of activities um, true or false and you can see down the bottom you can check uh, the activity as you're going through it I'm just going to stop for a second guys one second sorry you can check the activity as you're going through the activity or you can simply just kick click for the answer key okay so clearly we're logged in here as teachers all right um, this is an example of a video you can see down the bottom right bottom left hand corner here sorry uh, there's a video icon for playing video and um, we're also able to share digital content okay how do we share digital content you see it here you see the share icon fantastic how does that work well basically if you have um, created a classroom and if you have allowed pupils into that classroom 
any material which is interactive or an audio file a video file or any material you want to share you use that share icon and they will receive the um, they will receive the notification once they log into their uh, digibook uh, the student okay um, so yeah the student must have activated has to have their book activated to be able to um, receive files from the teacher LE classroom okay so it's like a virtual classroom where you can send testing materials okay you access the same way we saw our bookshelf up on the top the library below that we've got the classroom okay so it's an environment for sharing content uh, between teachers and their pupils okay you can send out messages you can send out all sorts of kind of notifications all right um, how do you create a class teachers can log in with the same email okay we've seen that you can create a new class it's so simple to do you go to the classroom it says create a class you do that you receive a code you share that code with your students fantastic okay um, this is just the process of creating a classroom here okay um, and once it's done you will receive a code and you can pass it on to the, the students okay again um, we've already said this the students must have an account on LE hub to join a class okay uh, every class has a different code so if you're a teacher you've got eight classes each of those classes will have one code uh, and again that code is passed on to the students okay and then they are able to enroll in the virtual classroom with the teacher okay so once you've created the class here's our access code there a 5819f and it can be shared um, with the, the pupils okay so next what have you got uh, yeah the things that teachers can do in the classroom well they can send messages to individual students or the whole class the same with files an individual student or the whole class and the same with assigning tasks okay um, so everything you would expect in the classroom the teacher can do here okay in a digital format what else can the teacher do? They can create an assignment. They can um, uh, label it by dates, okay? A start date, an end date. It makes it clear to the students when they have to have the assignment completed by, okay? Um, things they can do also, uh, you know, this, we can see the resources here that the teacher has attached to the, um, the assignment. So in this case, an audio, okay? Um, and we've got some kind of uh, some data here about uh, feedback uh, from our pupils okay whether they've opened the material or not the test room okay um, again you know we've seen the library we've seen the classroom let's go down to the test room and this is where we can assign interactive grammar tests in English French German Spanish and also Italian as a second language okay um, again very very useful Okay, once you've got your class up and running, once you've got the teachers signed, uh, the students signed into your class, okay, they have to be signed into your classroom, your virtual classroom, you can assign, you see it here it says assign, you can assign these tests to your pupils. The pupils do the tests at home and the system automatically corrects and updates the, the, the test. You can see there's reports, uh, uh, you to assess the test to take a look at it. You can generate reports with the groups fantastic really good. Okay um, So more about the test room, okay, uh, and okay, this is quite simple You need to you know use your same email and password as Ellie hub So you use the same credentials to access all of these features and tools. Okay um, Again, we've said this before students need to have an account. Okay um, This is what it looks like when you've got a class started okay you've, you've created a classroom okay um, and at the moment you haven't got any students who have signed up to it and at the moment you haven't sent any assignments but we'll see what it looks like once you've done that so in the test room you can select tests based on the subject the level the age of their students you can filter okay so you can filter for a2 level only you can filter for types of exercises and you will have a selection then and you can assign them to your students okay and this is what it looks like this is what I just said okay we've got our filter system here I want to filter for just B1 uh, who are the teenagers uh, task type and I've done my filter and it's given me these type of whoops uh, it's given me these type type of activities here so you can see that these are activities um, here we're talking about the article or the indefinite article 
uh, in terms of Anne of Green Grables, which is one of our readers, you can assign this to your pupils at home. They receive the activity at home, they do the activity, and they send it back through the system. Okay? You can preview the tests uh, before you send them, and they can ex be exported uh, in a PDF. Okay? So there's that assign button there that we were talking about for, for you to send, for the teacher to send the test to the pupil at home. This is what a test looks like, okay? Um, viewed exercises, exercises would answer, have we done the exercises, all sorts of feedback, okay? Um, so very clear, very simple in this particular example here, okay? How to assign a test? You click the assign button, I guess, and you can put in various options here. A start date, a due date, uh, you can give some uh, description, uh, so quite clear, quite simple. Um, once the, the student has completed the test, okay, there will be access to report. Okay, the teacher will see a report. They'll see very clearly the work that has been carried out. Okay, and these are the reports here. So um, I can see that uh, the assignments, the type of grammar assignments. I can see what the uh, the average score is. Uh, we can get some further detail down here, okay? So it's an automated system where the teacher, you know, very simply just assigns the work and it's sent back by the student. So this student here, uh, activity one got zero from five, not good. Activity two got four out of five, very good. Activity three, they have eight correct from nine, very good, and so on and so forth, okay? So it's clearly laid out what the um, the student's performance looks like, okay? And, you know, obviously, the teacher then can leave comments for the, the, the pupil to read regarding the, the activity. Okay, so that was the, the virtual classroom. I know we're going very quickly. I don't want to keep this too long, okay? I'm going quick, but it's I really do think it's self-explanatory, okay? Uh, we've gone through the digital books. We've gone through Ellie Classroom. We've gone through the virtual test. Now we're looking at Ellie Link, okay? Ellie Link, to me, is extremely um, useful. I think it's fundamental. Everybody should be using Ellie Link. What is Ellie Link? It's basically our app. You can see the icon there. Um, and it allows uh, students, teachers, parents, everybody, anybody to, um, with the app on their phone, scan the page of a book, immediately upload the audio and the video files to the device. Uh, and that way avoiding the need to, you know, log into a PC to access, um, media files that come with our course books. Okay. Uh, it's free. It's, uh, a very protected environment. Um, there's no codes, no registration needed. Uh, it works very well. It's very solid.